Hello, it's Jane from Jane to Jen. Now, today I'll be looking at um, six facial products and reviewing um, each of those. So, first off, I have the Akin Rose Hip Oil. Now, for those of you who don't know what rose hip oil is, um, basic, basically it um, revitalizes, brightens, and restores the skin. Um, this one has pro vitamin A, vitamin E, and an omega 9, 3, and 6 within this product. Now, I know several brands um, stock rose hip oil, such as Trilogy, um, Akin, and Sukin. Now, I've tried Sukin and Akin. I think that's how, how you pronounce it, but um, I actually prefer this over the Sukin one. The color is a lot thicker, and I just find I get better results with this particular brand than over the other one. And I've actually heard good reviews on the Trilogy one too, so I might try that one next time. So yeah, um, I've had this for um, over... Um, a year now just a bit over a year and I've still got this much left I'd say if I was to use it every day it'll probably last me around four months which is pretty good for your money it was only um, 20 it's only $20 at Priceline but I got I always get it on sale so I got it for $16 when it was have when Priceline was having the 20% um, off sale makeup and skincare so I decided to grab um, another one so yeah um, really like this um, I will just show you the coloring it's a deep orange color and as you can see it's like an oily sort of base it is oil but I use it just before I go to sleep and um, I lay it in several skincare I use before I go to sleep and basically when I wake up my skin is really really soft and supple it's just like touching a baby's bottom like it helps with um, evening out the skin tone removing the post acne scars um, just a smoothing out the skin complexion in general and it's really good during winter there's really isn't much negative stuff that I can talk about this product except for the fact that it's super oily um, when I go to sleep just before I go to sleep when I apply, apply it on my face I find it tends to rub off on my pillowcase so that's a downside but um, just weighing it against the pros it really isn't a big hassle which is why um, I'm giving it a 4 out of 5 Product number two is the Clarins Hydra Matte Lotion for Combination Skin. Now I have quite an oily T-zone and really dry um, cheek area and it usually gets um, even more dry during um, winter. But anyway, so basically this product I use during the day, not for its moisturizing qualities, but, but just because I need some sort of moisturizer slash lotion before I apply my makeup. Um, so this is really good because it mattifies my skin. It's not too oily and it's a really nice watery, um, milky um, texture. And it goes into, um, sinks into the skin straight away. It smells really good, um, lasts for about four to five hours with like good mattifying products that I use in combination to this. So this is why I really like this product. Now I don't really know how much it is because I got it as a Christmas gift, but I've been using it pretty much on and off like every day and there's still quite a lot in this bottle. So it's really worth, I think it's really worth it. And yeah, it keeps my face um, quite matte, um, but not for like eight hours, but a good solid four to five hours. So yes, I would give this a four out of five, but it's a daytime product only. So be sure that this is only a daytime product. Now nighttime moisturizing product, I use the Uandi Natural. Now this product is a sample size. I got given this through the glossy box slash lust have a box. Um, so yes, it says experience smoother, brighter and younger looking skin with this natural refining cream. Our natural products integrate ancient wisdom from the indigenous people of Australia. So it's an actual, it's actually an Australian product. Um, the only reason why I would not repurchase it is because of the price. I think it's like around $50. Um, for like a bit bigger size but um, honestly I'm a, I'm a, I'm a working student um, don't have that much money to spend on like 
goods like this. So this age reversal cream is would be really good if I was like working full time and um, you know want to take care of my skin and like reduce the wrinkles. So it's a very good product. Um, but I only use it at night time because it is quite thick. It's a thick creamy texture um, Goes over my skin and, I, and instantly my skin feels smoother. So I use this and then I would so I'll turn my face use this and then I use the rose hip oil and then I'll put on any additional pimple cream whatsoever So this one I'd give it a 4 out of 5 as well. So that's my daytime and night time Okay so the next product is by Mary Kay. Now this product is the spot solution for acne prone skin. Now I didn't go ahead and buy this because my mum was um, like a consultant for Mary Kay um, a while ago so she sort of bought me several Mary Kay products and um, honestly I really don't like this product because it's a milky sort of texture and Usually for my acne creams or what or spot solution creams, I like it in the gel form because I feel like it's working on my skin a lot better and like that tingly feeling like I feel like it's working. But this, it's just like a moisturizer or something. I really don't like it and, and I've actually given it a couple of goes. I use it like day after day, not my pimple just does not go away and like new ones form. I'm just like doesn't even do anything but the good thing I guess because it doesn't do anything it doesn't dry up my skin like sometimes when you put pimple cream it tends to dry the skin a lot and it tends to peel this one doesn't but at the same time why would I put it on if it doesn't do anything for my skin so I don't know um, I guess I'm a bit lazy and I'm, this is the only pimple product that I have at the moment that I'm using so I'm just going ahead and use it. I did buy another pimple cream um, off iHerb which I really like which I'll be doing a review sometime in the later date but yes this one I'd give it a 1 out of 5 yeah not so good now next product is also by Mary Kay unlike the um, acne product this I quite like this was my first foundation primer and it's from Mary Kay it's got a really nice consistency like any other primer really, it's clear, it fills in the little pores, the lines or whatsoever and when I apply um, foundation over this, um, it just glides on a lot smoother, I, you can't see the little pores, the, my smile lines isn't as obvious, like it's still there but it isn't as obvious as if I um, when I don't apply primer. So. It's an average product, like it's not the best because I haven't tried enough to substantially be like this is holy grail primer, but um, just on its own, it hasn't broken me out, which is a good plus for any face products on my face. So yeah, it's it's quite good It's and it's um, mattifying as well, so yay. Um, I give this a 3.5 out of 5 just because it's like an average primer and yeah. Now the last product I'm reviewing is the Stay Matte Press Powder. Now this product by Rimmel reminds me, well it doesn't really remind me, it's, it's a replacement for my um, MAC Studio Fix Powder. I'm an NC25 liquid form and powder form I'm uh, NC35. and Right now I've like nearly finished, hit, I've hit pan and nearly finished around the edges of the MAC Studio Fix powder and I really can't bother forking out that much money to buy another one because I bought it like overseas and it was a lot cheaper. Um, so that's why I went ahead and bought the Rimmel Stay Matte powder and I've heard quite a lot of um, positive reviews about it. Uh, I bought it along with the Akin Oil uh, with the 20% off sale at Priceline. So it was only like around $12. I think it retails around $15. So it's quite good for its price. It's not the best pressed powder. It doesn't mattify my face for a very long time, but good enough for $15. Probably I'd say three hours, two to three hours, and then you have to sort of reapply a bit. It just gets a little bit oily, but it's not like significantly oily. So yes, I quite like this. I didn't get it in a transparent colour because like I said, I use it to replace the MAC um, Fix Plus and that was a coloured sort of tone so I wanted that extra coverage to cover my blemishes. Like I don't really have that much blemishes but I just feel a bit better 
knowing that this has some coverage sometimes if I can't be bothered wearing a liquid foundation I would just apply this on its own which I haven't done yet but I want to see how that looks someday so this I would give it a um, probably a 3.5 out of 5 as well um, just because the packaging isn't that great as you can see it's a pop-out pack packaging it's not a screw oh, it, it's not a screw top and it doesn't come with any sort of buffer or like a like like a brush like I have to carry a brush with me if I was to take it like I don't really usually t um, take my makeup when I um, travel to other places throughout the day so I don't really take it with me um, and I just find that with plasticky caps I tend to break them a lot and it's not like I take them around that makes me break like for example if you see the Naked Cosmetics um, eye primer you see here it's all like cracks I've already broken the lid and this is the Libre um, professional cream makeup like as well as the plastic lid and it's already has a it already has a crack in it and I'm just not very good with these plasticky tops so I have a feeling I'm gonna probably break this soon and yeah so it says it has natural shine control with natural minerals so it hasn't broken me out yet I've only used it three times this week so we'll see how this goes but um, for now I quite like this 3.5 out of 5 and that concludes my face product reviews. Um, hope you've enjoyed it and um, let me know if you have any comments regarding the video, this channel or any other products mentioned and um, please subscribe and thank you for watching guys. Bye!